The Surface Pro 7 Plus is here, let's unbox it. As you can see by the brown recycled box, this is the Surface Pro 7 Plus for business. In fact, it only comes in this cardboard box because it's not available at retail stores. I ordered the Pro 7 Plus with LTE 4G. This one comes with an i5 processor, 256 gigabytes of SSD storage. A couple of my colleagues have ordered the i7 top spec model, but they're still waiting for stock to arrive. When it does, we'll test out those models and bring you an update. Being a business model, it comes with Windows 10 Pro and the box has all of the important details on the outside, like the serial number and the IMEI for easy logistics. Business models come with special warranty, including a dedicated business support line, and they can be purchased with first party Microsoft extended warranty options that are not available to retail customers. From all accounts, this new model is a major upgrade on multiple fronts, just not in appearance. As you can see, the Pro 7 Plus looks identical to the Pro 7, the Pro 6, the Pro 5, you get the idea. So it does raise some questions. Why is this not a Surface Pro 8? And why did it not come in a Pro X package with its bigger screen, thinner form factor and smaller bezels? Why is it a business only model not available in the stores? I don't think I'm revealing any secrets when I say that the Surface Pro line is a big hit in business and government. Here in Australia, I've worked with federal, state and local government departments that have standardised on Surface Pro right across the board. Many large and small businesses have too. It's a brilliant option for those organisations because it's both a business laptop and a business tablet. It gives their staff unparalleled flexibility to work in both high and low formality modes. So they can take notes in meetings, mark up documents, and brainstorm with colleagues using the pen from home, and they can do that without compromising their ability to create documents, respond to emails, and take part in video conferences. On top of that, the Surface Pro can be tightly managed by an in-house IT department, for better or worse. In fact, the majority of Surface Pros are sold through the corporate reseller channels. That's not to say that retail isn't important, Brand recognition is a big part of the reason that Surface has done very well in the corporate and government worlds. Surface Pro has been very liked by staff because they know the brand and it's a much classier device than that old clunky Lenovo or Dell laptop that used to be anchored to the desk. But at the same time, for organizations, consistency is important. They likely have multiple versions of the Surface Pro in their fleet now. There's usually a pool of accessories like pens, keyboards and docks that are common to seven years of Surface Pro models. For example, I kept my red keyboard and pen from the Pro 7. A form factor change has to happen eventually, but it looks to me like Microsoft chose to hold on to this form factor for just one more iteration. They're focused it on business. It gives businesses a couple more years of runway. A major model change is painful to manage at scale. Now, I have no inside information, but I wouldn't be surprised if Microsoft were working on a completely revised Surface Pro 8 as we speak. So while the Pro 7 Plus might not be what consumers were looking for, it ticks a lot of the boxes that business needs. But the business only release also makes me think that a consumer focused release is also not far away. I'd expect it to push the envelope and to set up the scene for Surface for the next seven years. So what boxes does the Pro 7 Plus tick for business customers? Well, firstly, there's this new removable SSD. Now, this was a significant engineering investment for Surface because the entire motherboard was flipped over to accommodate it. There's a new little hatch over the back here. As I mentioned, I've worked with many government departments and I've seen Surface used in classified work. And in the past, when a device was used in an environment like that and it had a failure of any kind, sending it away without removing and destroying the SSD was simply not an option. So for some departments, that Surface Pro had to be destroyed on the spot when there was any kind of fault. It was just such a waste. Now that never needs to happen again. The IT or security department can remove the SSD before sending the device away. The same security risk would apply to many corporates too. But thankfully now that Surface Pro 7 Plus and Surface Pro X and also the Surface Laptop 3 all have removable SSDs. As a side benefit, it's actually now possible to upgrade the SSD. This is a good step towards modularity and surfaceability, and it's definitely the way forward for Surface. And then there's the LTE model. 4G or LTE advanced modems are of little benefit really to most consumer purchases, but they're big in the corporate world. 
Having a device that can be connected at all times for mobile staff is a must. Sure, you can hotspot to your phone, but that's just another step and complication that you need to manage. And not everyone gets a company-issued phone too, so who pays for the data that you need to do your work? With the Surface Pro 7 Plus LTE model, there's a physical SIM card slot that replaces the micro SD card. There's also a virtual eSIM card on board, so you can actually get online with a data provider over the air. This means that IT departments can actually assign a data plan to this device without ever touching it. That's pretty handy for IT departments managing devices across a regional or a global network. Sure, it's not 5G, but you can get up to near gigabit speeds on 4G LTE Advanced, so it doesn't need to be. In the consumer world, sure, 5 means a lot more than a 4, but businesses generally evaluate deeper than consumers. Working reliably and consistency is probably more important than one-upmanship. The battery has been sized up in the Pro 7 Plus, going from 43 watt hours up to 50 watt hours. There's enough power in there to last a full day of work. And as usual, it charges from the 65 watt charger in about two hours from flat. You can also charge via the inbuilt USB-C port. That is, if you have a charger that supports the power delivery or PD open charging standard. USB-C docks will also work with the Pro 7 Plus as well as the Surface dock so you can easily extend to two additional 4K displays. And with the new 5th generation Tiger Lake processor and its brand new XE graphics engine, we expect to see much better performance on a Teams call with better battery life too. In my experience, the i5 Surface Pro 7 struggled to handle multitasking during video calls, something that the Pro X handles with ease. So I'll be closely looking to see how this Pro 7 Plus handles video calling, bread and butter for work in the pandemic age. As I said, we'll do some more performance comparisons once we get the i7 models in, but most current reviews agree that the Pro 7 Plus is a significant performance upgrade. Back on video calling, the Pro 7 Plus retains the very impressive Windows Hello cameras from the previous models. I can't believe how poor the webcams are on most laptops in 2021, especially on the supposedly premium Apple Mac typewriters. Not so with the Surface. Going all the way back to Pro 3, we have great cameras. But the dual Farfield Studio mic setup completes the video calling package for the Pro 7 Plus. Since I work in a secluded office, I don't need a headset. And these mics do an impressive job producing near professional quality sound when you're both near and far away from the screen. So if the processor and graphics performance matches up with the quality of the cameras and the mics, this would be a hard package to beat for Teams or Zoom calls. The Surface Pro 7 Plus is an excellent choice for office, and home office based knowledge workers. And now that LTE is back, it's also great for mobile workers too. The compact light form factor will continue to please, but the ability to switch to that creative low formality pen mode will greatly enhance your ability to think clearly and to solve complex problems. By the way, if you think that you'd never use something like the Surface Pen, then you need to stop what you're doing and watch our science behind the Surface Pen series. We'll link to it here. And if you'd like to know more about the Surface Pro 7 Plus, the Surface Pro X, or any other Surface, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit that bell to get notified when we post a new video next Wednesday, Australian time.